Devarim, Deuteronomy 9. Hear, O Yasharael, you are to pass over at the Yardin this day to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than yourself, cities great and fenced up to heaven, a people great and tall, the children of the Anakim, whom you know and of whom you have heard say, Who can stand before the children of Anak? Understand therefore this day that Yahuwah Eloheiken, rather, Yahuwah Eloheka is he which goes over before you as a consuming fire. He shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before your face. So shall you drive them out and destroy them quickly, as Yahuwah has said unto you. Speak not in your heart after that Yahuwah Eloheka has cast them out from before you, saying, For my righteousness Yahuwah has brought me in to possess at this land. But for the wickedness of these nations, Yahuwah drives them out from before you. Not for your righteousness or for the uprightness of your heart do you go to possess at to their land, but for the wickedness of these nations, Yahuwah Eloheka drives them out from before you. And that he may perform at the word which Yahuwah swore unto your fathers, Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Understand, therefore, that Yahuwah Eloheka gives you not at this good land to possess it for your righteousness. For you are a stiff-necked people. Remember and forget not at how you provoked at Yahuwah Eloheka to wrath in the wilderness from the day that you did depart out of the land of Mitzrayim until ye came unto this place. Ye have been rebellious against Yahuwah. Also in Charev, ye provoked at Yahuwah to wrath, so that Yahuwah was angry with you to have destroyed you. When I was gone up into the mount to receive the sapphire stones, even the sapphires of the covenant which Yahuwah cut with you, then I abode in the mount Forty days and forty nights. I neither did eat bread nor drink water. And Yahuwah delivered unto me at two sapphire stones, written with the finger of Elohim. And on them was written according to all the words which Yahuwah spoke with you in the mount, out of the midst of the fire, in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass at the end of forty days and forty nights that Yahuwah gave me at the two sapphire stones, even the sapphires of the covenant. And Yahuwah said unto me, Arise, get you down quickly from hence, for your people which you have brought forth out of Mitzrayim have corrupted themselves they are quickly turned aside out of the way, which I commanded them. They have made them a molten image. Furthermore, Yahuwah spoke unto me, saying, I have seen at this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Let me alone that I may destroy them and blot out at their name from under heaven. And I will make of you a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mount. And the mount burned with fire. And the two sapphires of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked. And behold, ye had sinned against Yahuwah Elohechem. And it made you a molten calf. Ye had turned aside quickly out of the way which Yahuwah had commanded you. And I took the two sapphires 
and cast them out of my two hands and broke them before your eyes. And I fell down before Yahuwah as at the first, forty days and forty nights. I did neither eat bread nor drink water because of all your sins which ye sinned in doing wickedly in the sight of Yahuwah to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure wherewith Yahuwah was wroth against you to destroy you. But Yahuwah hearkened unto me at that time also. And Yahuwah was very angry with Aharon to, destroy, to have destroyed him. And I prayed for Aharon also the same time. And at I took your sin, at the calf which he had made, and burnt it with fire, and stamped it, and ground it very small, even until it was as small as dust. And I cast at the dust thereof into the brook that descended out of the mount. And at Tav Ara, and at Makkah, and at Kivrot, Hat Ta'ava, ye provoked at Yahuwah to wrath. Likewise, when Yahuwah sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and possess at the land which I have given you, then ye rebelled against at the commandment of Yahuwah, Elohekem, and ye believed him not, nor hearkened to his voice. Ye have been rebellious against Yahuwah from the day that I knew you. Thus I fell down before Yahuwah at forty days and at forty nights, as I fell down at the first. Because Yahuwah had said he would destroy you. I prayed therefore unto El Yahuwah and said, O oh, Adonai Yahuwah, destroy not your people and your inheritance, which you have redeemed through your greatness, which you have brought forth out of Mitzrayim with a mighty hand. Remember your servants, Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Look not unto the stubbornness of this people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin, lest the land whence you brought us out say, because Yahuwah was not able to bring them into the land, which he promised them, and because he hated them, he has brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. Yet they are your people and your inheritance, which you brought out by your mighty power and by your stretched out arm.